It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Hey, all. Welcome back to the Real Life Pharmacology Podcast. I am your host, pharmacist Eric Christensen. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope you pick up some good clinical practice pearls. Uh, as always, I've got that uh, top 200 study guide. Go check that out, reallifepharmacology.com. Uh, you'll get it absolutely free. All it costs you is an email uh, to subscribe to our list. And of course, we get you updates when we've got uh, new podcasts and, and new uh, content available. So go do that, reallifepharmacology.com. Uh, sign up for that top 200 study guide. Great refresher. Uh, for those uh, outside of pharmacy school, med school, nursing school, but uh, if you're going through classes and, and pharmacology classes specifically, uh, it's a great refresher for sure. All right, so with that, let's get into the drug I want to talk about today, and that is Roflumilast. So brand name of this medication is Dalaresp. And I will say in practice, when it first came out, uh, if I had to ballpark it, I would say in the 20. 10 to 2013 range. That's uh, strictly a guess, but that's rem- uh, when I remember seeing it a little bit. Um, I feel like this medication was used a little bit more, and uh, I think as we, we saw it, we did run into a few adverse effects, and, and then we've got more and more uh, inhaler options now and, and different options that way. Um, but anyway, this medication is indicated to help reduce COPD exacerbations. In its classification or drug category, uh, it is a phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitor. So mechanistically, what that does, uh, when we block PDE4, uh, you ultimately get an increase in cyclic AMP, uh, which helps reduce inflammation uh, and also suppresses cytokine release. This ultimately leads to uh, improved lung function, and potentially reducing the risk of those exacerbations. Again, this is just indicated for COPD, so it's not used in asthma, or at least I have never seen it used off-label in asthma. Um, The primary patient education point I think you want to make here is this is more of a controller reducing exacerbation risk. It is not intended for acute relief, okay? That's a really, really important thing when you're educating a patient about any COPD or asthma medication. Make sure that they are aware which medication is their acute relief medication for urgent respiratory symptoms and which ones are intended to be more controllers and to help them over the long haul. Now, interestingly, this is an oral medication. It's an oral tablet, um, whereas we think of most of our COPD medications, you uh, they're inhalers or nebulizers, that, those types of things. And adverse effect profile uh, is, in my mind, significant with this medication, uh, as well as the cost. So those are kind of two strikes against it a little bit. Uh, drug interactions are another one as well, So, but I'll talk about that coming up here. Uh, but let's stick with adverse drug reactions. So the first thing I think about when I see a prescription for Roflumilast or somebody on this medication are psych-related issues. This drug can cause anxiety, insomnia, depression. It's not crazy common. It's not like 50% or anything, but you know, 5 to to 10 to 15% in that range, I believe, is uh, the ballpark of what the package insert gives there. Now, when I'm thinking about this clinically, uh, if I see a patient on an SSRI, on a benzodiazepines, an antipsychotic, uh, other mood stabilizing type medications, I'm definitely a little bit more concerned than somebody who doesn't really have a history of psych issues. So, Really pay attention to that and um, know your patient's background and history from a mental health perspective, and that might help you uh, weigh that risk versus benefit of using this medication. Now, if they're already on it, 
that's definitely something we're going to monitor over time and make sure that we aren't worsening any uh, psychiatric issues. Uh, other adverse effects, uh, GI issues can happen, so diarrhea, nausea, and I couple that with weight loss. So this drug definitely has been associated with weight loss. And in a lot of my patients, which are primarily geriatric, um, having COPD, you're going to be generally older when you get COPD for the overwhelming majority of patients. So weight loss can sometimes be a bad thing. So we've we've really got to watch that. And again, along with the psych issues, you're going to monitor um, weights potentially over time, making sure that we're not causing issues there. Uh, and then also it is recommended to monitor uh, liver function uh, as well. All right, so let's take a quick break from our sponsor and we'll wrap up with drug interactions. If you're in the market for pharmacist board certification study material like BCPS, ambulatory care, BCMTMS, NAPLEX, the psychiatric exam, the geriatric exam, definitely go check out meded101.com slash store, S-T-O-R-E. We've got a great list of resources there to help prepare you to pass those exams. So again, meded101.com slash store. If you're looking for clinical pearls, case studies, just more uh, real life practical education surrounding pharmacology and, and medications in general, uh, meded101.com slash store. Uh, I've got a list of Amazon books, Audible books uh, that can all be really, really helpful in helping you just manage patients, uh, help with medications, and certainly pick up a few clinical practice pearls. So again, find all those resources, meded101.com slash store, S-T-O-R-E. All right, so wrapping up with drug interactions. Roflumilast can be affected by drugs that inhibit or induce CYP3A4. So you know that CYP3A4, probably from previous podcasts or from previous studies, uh, CYP3A4 is a major pathway of metabolic breakdown of many medications, and there are many medications that impact the function of the enzyme CYP3A4. So classic examples, CYP3A4 inhibitors, uh, azole antifungals, some of your macrolide antibiotics like erythromycin, clarithromycin, uh, diltiazem. So these are all going to potentially raise the concentrations of roflumilast and increase the risk for adverse effects. Like I mentioned before, the weight loss, the GI, the psych issues, uh, those can that risk can all be increased when we use a CYP3A4 inhibitor in combination. Now, CYP3A4 inducers would lower concentrations of rufumilast and potentially lead to a less effective drug in preventing COPD exacerbations. So again, those classic enzyme inducers, uh, rifampin, phenytoin, carbamazepine, St. John's wort, all those drugs can impact the function of CYP3A4 and cause it to basically work faster and more efficiently, chewing up roflumilast more quickly, and you're going to have lower blood concentrations of that medication. All right, so CYP3A4 is one of the primary pathways of breakdown with roflumilast. Uh, I did want to briefly mention CYP1A2. It's considered more of a minor pathway of breakdown. So thinking about CYP1A2 as a little refresher, uh, one of the, the common examples I think of is ciprofloxacin. Uh, that drug can impact and inhibit uh, CYP1A2, and that's going to potentially, and again, this is more of a modest effect, um, but potentially increase the concentrations of roflumilast. Again, more modestly compared to CYP3A4 inhib inhibition with this medication. Uh, and then one last quick refresher on a CYP1A2 inducer, which could lower concentrations of rifumilast. Uh, I always bring up uh, smoking. It, it's a great one to remember. Uh, I've seen it you know, come up on various exams and things like that. So smoking um, causes the induction of CYP1A2, which in this case with rifumilast, 
uh, could lower concentrations. Again, not an incredibly great effect that I really worry about strongly, um, but it is just something to think about there. And also keep in mind, many of your COPD patients may be smokers. So there may be kind of a, a, a dual purpose to really pay attention there on what their smoking status is. All right, well, that's going to wrap up the podcast for today. I hope you picked up a few clinical practice pearls. Uh, leave a rating and review on iTunes if you enjoyed this episode. If you find the po- podcast helpful, it's greatly appreciative. It uh, helps us reach more people. We are getting very, very close at this point to 500 reviews. So if yours uh, could set us over the top, I'd uh, definitely be thankful for that. Uh, if you want to track me down, meducation101 at gmail.com. Also, go to reallifepharmacology.com, subscribe, get your free 31-page PDF on the top 200 drugs. With that, I'm going to sign off for today. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you have a great rest of your day. At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day and for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial-grade supplies for every industry with same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's chumbacasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. DTW, avoid, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus.